I'm joined by Apollo following a victory over FlyQuest, two to one, week four in ALCS. How are you feeling? Good. Uh, it was a little shaky at the start, but you know we, we managed to pull through, and we even after like the the bad you know first game, I felt like we still kind of had a chance of winning, or we knew we had a chance of winning the series. So we just looked at a pick ban again, and kind of went through. After after like looking at pick ban, we kind of made some changes, and then yeah, after game two and three, we felt pretty confident. Uh, with, with this uh, with this defeat of FlyQuest, they actually moved to one seven tied for last place after a strong start to the spring split, and they also finished in, in fourth, almost beating P1 for the third place match in spring. What do you think has uh, what do you think has changed about this team where they're struggling so much in the early weeks of summer? Um, honestly, FlyQuest as a team, I actually thought they would fall off a little bit sooner than they actually did, so they were kind of surprising to me how well they did in the last split. Uh, the new addition for Turtle, I don't know if it made too many change. I don't know if it made too much difference. I still think he's a good player. It's just I've I've kind of seen FlyQuest as like a lower mechanical skill level team, so they really rely on like macro play and teamwork. And most of the other teams have gotten a lot better at that, so maybe that's why they're falling off a bit. Uh, in terms of your career as an AD carry, you've been playing for quite some time now, and your stats this this uh, splitter up across the board like way higher than your career averages. Have you turned a corner as a, as a player this split, or do you think it's just you integrating with your team better? What do you think has caused such a such a fantastic uh, split for you so far? Uh, it's a little bit of both. We all, we've obviously been playing a lot better as a team, and that's thus you know making my stats a little bit better. So I, I still think that I learned a lot more just kind of in this this up and coming split. I focused a lot more on teamwork and a lot more on macro, and that kind of allowed me to play a bit more confidently, especially out of lane phase. And yeah, I've just kind of translated the advantage I get in lane phase and then push it kind of after that. Your juggler, Lyra, is an absolute monster. He is having these insane performances on Lee Sin. His rec style looks very good today. What is it like playing with him? Is he just kind of quietly going around the map, just like destroying everything? Or is he a very vocal player when he's carrying this hard? He is a little more quiet. <laughs> So yeah, we kind of let him do his own thing and then everyone else kind of speaks up. Uh, so we kind of give Larry information and then he will, you know, make the play off of that. And I, you know, I think he's a really good player, but we just, it's really, you know, it's just a really a team game. So we can't really, you know, we can't rely only on Larry carrying. And that's why, you know, this split, I want to try to, to just like prove myself a little bit more. And then we have our new up and coming mid laner in this game. I think he's kind of proving to be like a hard, like, you know, a hard carry player. So I think both me and Niski are stepping up and then we don't have to just have Lyra carry us. I was going to ask you about that next. You you guys uh, played games with Niski this week and you guys have these two mid laners now. Uh, Pyrian also looks very good with the team. What is the dynamic? Is there a certain strategy to substituting them in and out that you guys pick style-wise or is it just kind of whatever's feeling good on the day? Is, is there any specific dynamic or boundary to who's playing? Uh, since we haven't really played too much with Niski yet, he just kind of got back from Europe, so okay. we're we don't really have like a dynamic setup or you know how do we choose which one is we're going to be playing on stage. It is kind of like in the moment, uh, and we decided to just give Niski you know this weekend because he's hasn't played at all, and we kind of we still want him to like get some games, and so he feels comfortable on stage. And I just think that they're both really good mid laners. I don't think one is you know significantly better than the other, and yeah, they put they they both perform pretty well. This week we saw Jin make a triumphant return to the meta. You had a great game on him. We've seen him all over the place. What do you think has uh, has caused Jin to rise back to prominence? Um, well, first of all, he got buffed in this most recent patch, and then I think it kind of has to do with the support picks. Um, Braum and Tom Kench are work a little bit better with Jin, meaning like Jin is good versus Braum and Tom Kench, and then Jin and Braum or Jin, uh, sorry, Braum and Tom Kench work with Jin as well. So. Those He's kind good of, with it against Yeah, yeah, them. exactly. Yeah. So I think that's the reason he got buffed, like I said, and then, yeah, I just think he's a strong AD carry. Uh, I don't, I don't know, like you know, like the, the tier list on him right now. Like I don't know if he's like super high priority, but a lot of teams have been prioritizing him highly, and we kind of, we kind of noticed it a little bit too late. We didn't practice any gen at all, and I just, I played like a couple games of solo queue, so I, so I can you know be like feel confident when I play it today. And yeah, so we didn't really practice Jin at all, I just kind of moved it out. And it certainly worked out well for you. Mm -hmm. Apollo, Envy now is at 4-4, four and four, almost halfway through the split. What are the What is the goal for Envy this split? What are, what are you guys mainly trying to accomplish? I think all of this, you know, all of Envy, we'd like to get into playoffs. Um, especially after, you know, such a disappointing split, a disappointing last split. Uh, it was just, 
I mean, we're obviously really happy that we're doing a lot better, it, but I think we're all looking for playoffs and think that, think that we can improve enough to get into that playoff spot. Apollo, thank you so much for the interview. Congratulations you. on your win. Is there anything else that you'd like to say to your fans or the NBA's fans? Uh, you know, thank you guys for supporting us. We, uh, we're, I'm happy that we're doing a lot better this split, so it's easier to watch our games. And yeah, thanks for watching. NBS defeats FlyQuest 2-1, to one, week 4 of the NALCS. For everything else, League of Legends Esports, you can head to Hala.com.